Hey guys, so I am just driving right now and I am having a day. I'm having a day because of all of the information that I'm gathering, all of these hospitals I'm going to that are completely empty. They're telling us that this was about, you know, hospital, hospitals not being overcrowded. They're telling us that, you know, the ICUs are full. They're telling us that, you know, there's not enough room. They're, they're, you know, I just, and I'm seeing all this, like all of these tents with all of these beds could take many people. You know, that's what they're there for, but they're all sitting there empty. Why I am doing what I am doing is because I am a mom whose children went to Australia in April of 2020. COVID happened and they canceled all flights going in and out of Australia. It wasn't until October that I was able to book a flight to see my children. I hadn't seen my daughters in seven months. They're 13 and 15 years old. My first time seeing them in seven months was me waving at them from a balcony of a quarantine facility that I was stuck in for 14 days. I was taken from the airport into a, like a Greyhound type bus with military and police not knowing where I was even going. I didn't even know the address. They won't give it to you until you actually get to the facility. In order for me to see my children, one month of my life has to be in, a, in quarantine. You don't know how many times I've had to do quarantine. Um, it's gonna cost a minimum of $10,000. Some of that money is the money that I will have to pay to be in the quarantine facility in Australia again. I'm not sick, I'm just a normal, healthy mom who misses her kids and who should not be going through this. Especially knowing that this is a lie. I'm doing this video because I hope and pray. I'm getting all these messages from people saying, my friend's a nurse, this person's a nurse. This is what I'm being told. I have countless messages from people. I need this video to be shared because we need nurses to speak out. I know the the implications that they're putting on you. I know that this is your livelihood. I know that you are scared. But from a mother to a mother, I need you to speak up for people and you cannot continue to sit by and see the harmful effects that this is doing to children, to people, to their livelihoods. And if we're all in this together, then we're all in this together. I am just at this point so beyond frustrated. And you know, I have so much respect for nurses and I have respect for our police force and I am losing complete and total utter respect because you need to be brave and you need to speak up because if you don't think this is eventually going to affect you and your families, you're wrong. And I don't wish what I'm going through on my worst enemy. To the mums out there who are nurses, I'm begging you, speak to me. Let's get this out. Let's blow the lid on this. If this if all of you kind of came together and could find it in, within yourselves to do this, to be brave, to have this courage to come out, to speak, we could collectively blow the lid on this. And like I said, I will protect your identity. If you watch the interview that I did with the nurse, the hospital wasn't mentioned, her name wasn't mentioned, nothing. I just met her that day. She reached out to me and I drove out three hours to go see her for that interview because as a mom, I cannot sit down and watch this go on in front of me, knowing this is a lie, knowing the, the, the hell I'm going through and do nothing. So I'm asking you to do something with me and help me and help people. That's what you signed up to do and you can still do it. And you have so many people behind you, I promise you, that will stand by you and help you. I got a call from Roman um, Faber's assistant and that nurse is in touch with him. So if you, her identity will eventually be revealed. 
and they are trying to gather a bunch of nurses to campaign against this government. There are things in the works. I promise you, you will be protected, but we need your help, nurses of the world. Please, 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 please speak out. And like I said, you can do it through me. Everyone, please find it in your hearts to share this video because you may have nurses just ready to, ready to speak. So please, for me and for humanity and for everyone's children, please share this.